Mount Vesuvius, the fearsome destroyer of civilizations, the fiery titan that sleeps no more, has come back to life. We are here today to dive into the fiery pits of its history and the shocking events that have been unfolding. Italy's brooding beast, Mount Vesuvius, has erupted once more, casting an ominous shadow over the city of Naples and echoing the horrors of a disaster that took place almost two millennia ago. This age-old colossus has a reputation that precedes it, a dark and terrifying legacy that is imprinted in the annals of history. The eruption in 79 AD was one of the most catastrophic volcanic eruptions in European history, and the name Vesuvius became a byword for a volcanic nightmare. In the ancient Roman world, the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum thrived in the shadow of the seemingly benign Mount Vesuvius. It was an age of prosperity, art, and progress. But beneath this peaceful facade, a beast was stirring, ready to unleash its pent-up wrath. And when it did, it buried these cities under a deadly shroud of ash and rock, preserving them in time and creating an eerie snapshot of life that came to a halt. Since then, Mount Vesuvius has stood as a haunting reminder of Mother Nature's power, brooding silently over the Gulf of Naples. Its eruptions have been sporadic, but whenever it awakened, it brought with it destruction and fear. Vesuvius is not just any volcano, it's a symbol of Earth's raw, unfettered power, a beacon of our planet's fiery heart. Over the centuries, countless tales have been told of its fury, stories handed down through generations, tales imbued with awe and terror. The most potent of these stories, however, is not one told by the living but rather by those who met a tragic end. The ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum stand today as a grim testament to Vesuvius's destructive power. It was as if Vesuvius had locked them away, to be discovered centuries later, with streets, buildings, and even the bodies of its victims remarkably well preserved. The ashes did not only bury these cities but also preserved them, providing us with an incredible insight into what life was like at the height of the Roman Empire. But it also served as a chilling reminder of what Vesuvius could do when it awoke from its slumber. From the amphitheaters to the Roman baths and the brothels, everything remained the same as if the mighty cities were waiting for their inhabitants to come back and continue their daily lives. But while Vesuvius is undoubtedly infamous for its past, its recent activity has provoked a renewed sense of dread. Its latest eruption was a spectacle that commanded the world's attention. People watched in awe as the once quiet giant roared back to life, sending plumes of smoke and ash high into the sky, painting the heavens with an ominous silhouette. This wasn't just another eruption. It seemed Vesuvius had a new story to tell, one that had lain hidden beneath its rocky exterior for millennia. As the mountain roared, the earth beneath it trembled, and from the heart of the eruption emerged something that had scientists and conspiracy theorists alike on the edge of their seats. In the midst of the chaos, something extraordinary was found. But what was it? That, dear friends, is the mystery we aim to uncover. As we delve into the fascinating narrative that unfolds, we'll take you on a journey through time, to the height of the Roman Empire and back to the present day uncovering the enigmatic secrets that Vesuvius has guarded so jealously. What could this famous volcano be hiding? And how could it change everything we thought we knew about the history of our world, and perhaps even the universe itself? So, join us as we embark on this thrilling exploration of Vesuvius's past and present. It's time to unravel the untold tales of one of the world's most infamous volcanoes. Fasten your seatbelts and brace yourselves for an exhilarating adventure deep into the heart of Mount Vesuvius. The adventure, dear friends, is just beginning. As we dive deeper into the heart of our story, it's time to wind back the clock and visit the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum, buried and preserved under the fierce eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Our journey takes us through the labyrinth of time to a world that existed nearly two millennia ago, in the heyday of the Roman Empire, to shed light on the secrets buried beneath the ashes of Vesuvius. Pompeii and Herculaneum were the flourishing jewels of the Roman Empire. They were lively cities brimming with trade, culture, and people. These cities were the epitome of Roman grandeur with beautiful frescoes adorning their walls, bustling marketplaces, luxurious villas, and a thriving populace. But little did they know about the brewing storm that lurked beneath the benign facade of Mount Vesuvius. The eruption that occurred in 79 AD was not a mere volcanic eruption. It was an explosion of incredible magnitude, a force of nature that was beyond the comprehension of the ancient Romans. Vesuvius didn't just erupt, it exploded with the power of several atomic bombs. The cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum were buried under meters of ash and pumice, and their populace was lost in a blink of an eye. 
It was an apocalypse, a day that turned night, a moment frozen in time. When the smoke cleared and the ashes settled, what remained of these once prosperous cities was a haunting tableau of life interrupted. The inhabitants of these cities were encased in the very ash that brought their demise, preserved in their final moments, and the cities that they called home were covered under a blanket of volcanic debris. However, the same ash and debris that brought about the destruction of these cities also preserved them. The ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum, when unearthed many centuries later, provided a rare and incredibly detailed glimpse into a world that was lost to time. The artifacts found in these cities painted a vivid picture of Roman life, the daily routines, the passions, the fears, and even the food they ate. And then, something unprecedented happened. During the recent eruption of Vesuvius, a new discovery was made that would make the jaws of archaeologists and historians worldwide drop. Among the rubble and the renewed chaos, something unexpected was found. The archaeological teams working at the site after the eruption have discovered something that was previously thought impossible. In the midst of the ruins, hidden away for nearly two millennia, was a find that would shake the very foundations of history. A find that wasn't just another fresco or another artifact, but something far more intriguing. This was not another remnant of the past. This was something that suggested an extraordinary possibility, something that could rewrite history and shatter our perception of the ancient world. As the world watched in anticipation, the archaeological teams carefully unearthed this enigmatic find. The discovery was shrouded in secrecy, with the world kept in the dark about its true nature. It was as if Vesuvius itself was whispering secrets from the past, a past that was far more complex and intriguing than we ever imagined. What could be this game-changing find? How would it transform our understanding of the Roman world and the capabilities of our ancestors? Could it be that the ancients were far more advanced than we ever gave them credit for? Or was there a possibility that they were not alone in their endeavors? As the mystery deepens, and as we delve further into the heart of this enigma, we find ourselves in the realm of the extraordinary. A realm where history, science, and conspiracy theories intertwine, painting a picture that is as baffling as it is intriguing. The story of Vesuvius is far from over, and it's about to get even more thrilling. So, as we take another step into this labyrinth of mysteries, hold on to your seats. For we are about to dive headlong into the world of the impossible and the unexplored. The stage is set, the curtain rises, and the saga of Vesuvius continues, more mysterious and more mesmerizing than ever before. Prepare to be astonished. The adventure is only just heating up. Now, let's immerse ourselves in the heart of this mystifying discovery that lies beneath the volcanic ashes of Vesuvius. This find, unlike any other, carries the potential to rewrite the books of history, to question the very reality of our ancient civilizations, and thrust us into an era of science and technology that was thought impossible for its time. Imagine an artifact from the Roman era that doesn't fit into the technological narrative of the time. An object that screams of a future yet to be conceived, preserved in the ashes of a past forgotten. This was what the archaeological team discovered, buried beneath the ruins of Pompeii. It was as if a piece of the future had been snatched and hidden away in the past. Such a scenario sounds like a narrative taken straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But remember, reality can sometimes be stranger than fiction. The artifact in question was a device, intricate and enigmatic. It was far from the usual finds that archaeologists stumble upon during their digs. This wasn't a pot, a mural, or a piece of jewelry, but something more complex, something that suggested a level of technological understanding far beyond the conventional timeline of human advancement. Initial analysis of the device revealed elements of engineering and technology that should not exist in the period from which it originated. It boasted of a sophistication that was akin to the precision instruments of our modern world. Encased in an alloy that didn't match any known to have been created in the Roman era, it was nothing less than a historical anomaly. This find perplexed the archaeological community, they found themselves wrestling with questions that challenged everything they knew about ancient civilizations. How could such an advanced piece of technology exist in a time before the conception of modern science? Were our ancestors more advanced than we credited them? Or was there an alternative explanation that tiptoed into the realm of the fantastic? Our quest to understand this enigma leads us to delve into the world of alternative history theories. A world where the lines between fact and fiction blur, where the unbelievable finds a footing, and where nothing is off the table. Some theorists suggest the involvement of extraterrestrial beings in our past, a theory that, 
while largely unsupported by the scientific community, has a dedicated following. They propose the possibility of alien interaction with ancient civilizations, sharing knowledge and influencing the course of human history. They argue that numerous historical anomalies and architectural marvels of the ancient world, which seemingly defy the technological capabilities of their time, are proof of such a theory. Could our mysterious device from the Vesuvian ashes be another such piece of evidence? On the other end of the spectrum, we have those who advocate the existence of lost advanced civilizations, cultures that mastered technology and science but were wiped out by cataclysmic events, their knowledge lost to the annals of time. Proponents of this theory propose that our mysterious device could be a relic from such a civilization, preserved in the heart of Vesuvius for centuries. As we grapple with these questions and delve deeper into this mystery, we venture into the realm of the extraordinary. The lines between the known and the unknown blur, fact and fiction merge, and we find ourselves caught in a tantalizing web of possibilities. But the ultimate question still remains, what is this device? What purpose did it serve? Is it evidence of an advanced ancient civilization, or could it point towards extraterrestrial influence? Or, is there another explanation we have yet to uncover? The adventure is far from over. As we journey deeper into the mysteries of Vesuvius, we must prepare for more shocking revelations and unprecedented discoveries. The ashes of Vesuvius continue to whisper the tales of a world lost, a world far more complex and mysterious than we could have ever imagined. The curtain rises on the next act of our Vesuvian saga, a story that is bound to leave us spellbound. Hold on to your seats, for the journey is about to get even more thrilling. As we dive further into the intrigue enveloping this mysterious artifact, we come across an even more startling realization, the Vesuvian device, as it is now being referred to, isn't alone. Similar anomalies have been discovered in other parts of the world, adding another layer of mystery to our already complex narrative. It was only a matter of time until links were drawn between the Vesuvian device and other out-of-place artifacts. These uparts, a term used by historians and archaeologists, are objects found in a context that appears to be impossible for their period of origin. Often, these objects stir up controversy, pushing the boundaries of conventional history and forcing us to question our understanding of technological progression. One such upart that draws parallels to our Vesuvian device is the infamous Antikythera mechanism. Found in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece, the Antikythera mechanism, like our artifact, exhibits an unexpectedly high level of technological sophistication for its era. This ancient analog computer, used for calculating astronomical positions, is a testament to a time when such complex machinery shouldn't have existed. Could there be a link between these two artifacts separated by hundreds of miles yet bound by an inexplicable thread of advanced technology? As we reach the end of our journey to unravel the enigma of the Vesuvian device, the roller coaster of theories, possibilities, and conjecture brings us to the precipice of one final revelation. This part of our saga examines the most critical question yet, what does the discovery of this artifact mean for us? If the device is, as some speculate, a beacon of advanced ancient technology, it completely upends our understanding of history and human progression. The existence of such sophisticated machinery at a time when it should not have been possible could signify an alternate timeline of technological advancement. One that saw its genesis in a period far earlier than we've ever considered. In the face of such a discovery, we would need to rewrite history books, reconsidering our understanding of technological development. The implications are significant, impacting everything from education to our perception of our ancestors. They were not just simple beings struggling for survival but potentially intelligent innovators pushing the boundaries of their time. On the other hand, if the time travel theory holds any water, we're left pondering the unimaginable. The very fabric of our understanding of the universe and our place within it could change. With tangible proof of time travel, we would have to prepare ourselves for the reality of a concept only ever explored within the realms of science fiction. The cultural, scientific, and philosophical implications are staggering. Imagine a world where time is not linear, but a vast ocean of moments and possibilities. A world where our understanding of causality and consequence is completely transformed. A world where the laws of physics are not as inviolable as we thought. A world that, until the discovery of the Vesuvian device, was the stuff of fantasy and fiction. 
Even if we veer away from these more extravagant theories and focus on the artifact's undeniable scientific mysteries, the mysterious alloy, for instance, we're still left with a significant leap forward in our knowledge. The potential for new technologies and advancements derived from understanding this ancient material could be revolutionary. It could herald a new era of technological breakthroughs and innovations, built upon the foundations of our past. In essence, irrespective of which theory you subscribe to, the Vesuvian device marks a turning point. A moment in history where what we thought we knew about our past and future is suddenly not so certain. It's a humbling reminder of our place in the grand tapestry of time and space, and how much of it remains unexplored. But amidst the cascade of theories and speculations, one thing remains certain, the importance of ongoing exploration and curiosity. Whether it's a volcanic mountainside in Italy or the far reaches of space, the quest for knowledge must go on. After all, it is this innate curiosity, this hunger for answers, that propels us forward, continually expanding the boundaries of our understanding. The Vesuvian device, buried for centuries beneath layers of ash and history, serves as a beacon for this ceaseless pursuit of knowledge. A symbol of the mysteries that lie hidden, waiting to be uncovered. A reminder that no matter how much we learn, the universe will always have new surprises waiting for us around the corner. And as we stand here, at the end of our Vesuvian saga, we're left with more questions than answers. But isn't that the beauty of exploration? Each answer breeds a new question, each discovery a new mystery, and each ending a new beginning. Our quest for understanding is a never-ending journey, a labyrinth of knowledge where every turn introduces a new enigma. So, here we are, staring into the proverbial abyss of the unknown, ready to take the next step in our journey. While the secrets of the Vesuvian device may not have been completely unraveled, they have given us a tantalizing taste of the mysteries that lie ahead. And if there's anything we can take away from this, it's that the journey to uncover these mysteries is just as exciting, if not more, than the discovery itself. As we close this chapter, remember, the world is filled with marvels waiting to be uncovered. So, keep your curiosity alive, and who knows? The next great discovery might be just around the corner, waiting to be unearthed. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired, and remember, there is always more to explore.